So a lot of English speakers, uh, even, you know, they've been studying English for 17 years or 25 years, they still feel like they have to come out and say, oh, my English sucks. My English is terrible. The intention is actually nice. You want to be respectful. You don't want to waste their time. And also you want them to know that, well, I might be pausing a lot. So please be patient with me. Why don't you just say, please be patient with me? And that way, you're speaking the truth and you're not actually insulting yourself. You know, if you say, my English sucks, it'll make you feel bad and make you feel inferior. Simply say, uh, <clears throat> I might need a little time. My English is still intermediate level or my English is still beginner level. And then you can simply ask them what you need to know. Uh, what does that mean? Could you say that in simple words? Excuse me, I need uh, some time. I forgot the word things like this that they're all true and they're all totally acceptable in conversation and you don't have to make yourself into the bad guy or into the weaker person you know you don't have to shame yourself because the problem is when you start saying mo oh, my english is terrible you start believing it and the more times you say that that becomes the easiest thing you know how to say in english so you walk up to an english speaker and you say hi my english is terrible well that's not the you know that actually makes the other person a little awkward and uncomfortable because honestly they don't care if your english is terrible they just want to connect with another human most of the time and if they're impatient if they don't actually want to spend the time to connect with you let them go you know not everybody will be patient but you don't have to apologize to everybody